Which one of these images from the It's a Small World attraction is based on a movie that takes place in Hawaii? Um, there we have it. My Auntie Annie's pretzels. That looks really good, doesn't it? I've managed a couple of successful Mickey ones. Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I have another Disney Friday for you again today. Thank you so much for you to you who watched the video last time. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Had really, really positive feedback. Thank you so much. Aid will be joining me um, in a bit. He's just gone to collect Holly. Um, but I thought I would start because I want to start making some German pretzels. Today is all about Germany. We're going to be inspired by Germany in Epcot and I thought I would make some pretzels. I do love a pretzel bun. The reason I picked Germany today, I grew up in Germany, so I've got a little bit of chat about Germany and all that kind of thing, and we're gonna do bratwurst on the barbecue for dinner tonight. I thought I would make some pretzels, but as much as I love Disney pretzels, I'm actually going to do Auntie Anne's inspired pretzels. You know, the ones with the sugary cinnamon. We love those so much. So we're going to make those. And um, we've also got a new German, no we haven't, and we've also got a new game, a Disney game that I was gifted by a friend, it arrived in the post as a surprise last week, and it's a really fun Disney game, so Aid and I are going to play that and see what that's all about. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video, let me know if you have, please give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying the Disney Fridays, and keep up with your suggestions, let me know what you think we should film for a Disney Friday for you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new, let's go make some pretzels. Um, I'll link up the recipe below that I'm following so you can change these either to plain pretzels like the salted ones or you can just do the cinnamon like what we are um, it's the same recipe just the different coating I've got one and a half cups of warm water in here and I need two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast the water it's really important that it's warm um, because that's how the yeast gets activated so I'm doing two and a quarter teaspoon of yeast and you just leave it in there to do its magic this recipe and that you can if you have a look on pinterest there's so many different recipes i particularly like this one it's easy which is always a bonus and it's vegan holly's a vegan and lots of the pretzel recipes did start with warm uh, milk rather than water so that's why i've gone for this one I also need a tablespoon of brown sugar or granulated sugar and a tablespoon of butter which has been melted. I'm going for plant um, butter so it's also suitable for vegans. But I'm guessing if you go for proper butter it's going to taste a bit more buttery. Right, the yeast is now at a good stage. I've mixed in the sugar, a little bit of salt and I'm going to add my melted butter as well and mix it all in. I've just transferred to a larger bowl as I've just realized that I'm gonna to need to add all the flour. So start with a larger bowl. I have got three and three quarter cups of all purpose flour to be added to this. It says to mix it in gradually. And this is the second cup of flour to go in. And I'm just going to add a third. So tell me, do you enjoy a Disney pretzel? Do you buy them? Do you buy the cheese ones? Um, there's quite a few different types these days. Um, what do you think of the cheese dip? I love cheese. But I have to say, I find it slightly disappointing. It wouldn't be my first choice. I love the Mickey Mouse shaped pretzel. That is so cool but it wouldn't be my first choice of snack. I do love the Auntie Anne's pretzels. They are really, really good. Um, obviously not sold in Disney. Um, do you have Auntie Anne's pretzels near you? We get them in Basingstoke when we go to Basingstoke Town Centre and also in Guildford. You can just smell them for so far off. They smell so good and they always have free samples. They're so delicious. We quite like the pretzel sticks. Um, I think it's six sticks you get um, when you buy one, one lot. But I think they're my favourite type of uh, pretzels. Did you know that in the UK you also get the vanilla sugar? 
and apparently we're the only country this is what we were told in basingstoke we are the only country that they offer vanilla sugar because um in the states they have cinnamon with everything and i don't think the cinnamon is as popular over here so we're the only country where they offer auntie anne's offer vanilla sugar um so that's interesting but let me know your pre your choice of pretzel what you go for or that kind of thing we used to have them a lot in germany as a bread roll um, that was my first experience of a pretzel bread and um, I just love them. I love the actual rolls. They're so delicious. Um, to me, the pretzels in Disney are a little bit hard. I like a softer pretzel, a bit browner on the outside. Um, sometimes they're a bit too salty. I don't like it too salty. My dough's looking really good now. I like bread dough. And when you make pretzels, have you made pretzels before? Um, I've made them quite a few times. I love to make them. I make them in little balls with cheese in the middle and they make a good tomato sauce and that makes a really, really nice starter. Um, but I haven't made them for quite some time, but it's actually the bit just before you bake, you dip it into um, some water with, is it by, oh, baking soda. Or is that what we call bicarb soda? I think it is because it fizzes up, doesn't it? So I will get to that bit in a moment anyway. And now I've got to knead the dough. Your dough should never be sticky. I've got it a little bit of flour on my surface, but it should be so that you can handle it and not get sticky hands. So I've got to knead this for a few minutes. I've just checked, I've got beer in the fridge. I always think when you're having German food, you need a nice cold beer. So I have got Budweiser in the fridge though I know that's American but that's what I like I like a nice light beer what do you like German wise tell me your favorite foods I love red cabbage I love it so much having grown up in Germany and my nan was German and I lived near my great-grandma in Dusseldorf um, I had all my dad's aunts uncles cousins so we grew up surrounded by family I was 13 when we moved there my sister was eight and my brother 18 months old um, we didn't speak German. Um, we, my dad spoke a little bit like a hello, how are you, um, can I have a beer, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, but we got put straight into German school, my sister and myself. And um, within a couple of months I was speaking German. I went away on a school trip for the week and I could fully get by. So it's amazing, especially when you're a kid, you're surrounded by it, how quickly you pick things up. Continuing to knead the bread, sorry, it's very sunny. But um, I like it when the dough starts to feel very silky. So that's the texture I'm going for. I always do go by texture rather than how many minutes I'm kneading for. No. Right, so I've got my dough as in a ball. It's back in the bowl, cling film on, and I'm gonna leave that to rest for 10 minutes. So here, oh, eight's with me now. Yes, I'm here. I've already done the intro and I've made oh, the pretzels and the resting. Um, we've got a drink each, I've got my bud. And you've gone for your very German Koppenberg. Pear Neither of us cider. are really flying the flag for Germany, are we? Um, we're going to play this game. I'll have a look at this game that my friend bought me for my birthday. Pictopia, the ultimate picture trivia family game featuring 1,000 questions. Do apologise, Louis upstairs on his PlayStation. It's a bit loud. Um, and it's a Disney edition. Hmm. Shall we open this and have yeah. a look? looks really cute away. ages seven and plus two to six players oh 25 to 45 minutes that's quite cool that it I said 25 players no that it tells you how long i don't like games that go on forever like monopoly so nice simple board we've got some oh look <laughs> love a disney game I love my candy cane lane. I've not played Just that. My Minnie Mouse one, it's so sweet. Um, you can open the packages if you okay, want the Okay, I get rid of this laptop? Yeah, that would be really helpful. So I was looking at planters, look. Ooh, oh, that's expensive. I don't two. Buy. That's a lot of money. 115 quid for two planters. That's going to be bad. Really? Yeah. Oh, look, the little spinny Mickeys. we got some counters. Oh, look, the counters that go around the border Mickeys. This is so cute. Tell you what, I've seen online, you can't buy it anymore, the Magic Kingdom board game. And it actually has the monorail that goes through. It has oh, the Oh, that track. one, yes. It looks yeah, so I cute, but you, you can't buy them anymore. No. no, you're talking about that yeah. one, aren't you? Got some counters. And then we've got 
these are all the questions so we're going to open these set it up oh and it's got a little dice and we'll see what it's like i'll let you read the instructions i have a question for you when you play a game or anything and you have to pick a color what color do you always pick aid's always green and i'm yellow lou is blue and holly is always kind of gray she likes grey. If she could choose grey, she would be grey. She has a grey magic band. Yes. But yeah, um, she always goes for the, like, the neutral colour. There are colours. Why do you always pick green? Because not green. Oh, see, I think you'd be red because you're, you're a Liverpool supporter. Yeah, but it's always been one of my favourite colours. Louis green. blue because he's a Chelsea supporter. I like yellow because it's the you colour would, of You would be sunshine. blue. Sunshine. I like, yeah. I would be, as a, in a game though, because you don't get aqua, I'd be drawn to yellow. Mm. There are colours. Right. We need to keep an eye on the barbecue as well. Okay, go on then, what are we choosing? Please. I have another interesting fact. Did you know the original Disney castle was based on the Neuschwanstein castle in Germany? It's beautiful. It's right down south. We visited when I was little and the only thing I remember is having to leave my brother's buggy at the bottom of the hill because it was so steep to climb up. Mum and Dad couldn't push it and everyone was abandoning their strollers, their kids' buggies on the side of the hill. They're like, it's like a little mountainy hill thing because they were too steep to hmm. climb up. That's all I remember. Hmm. I've got a photo. Yeah? But I don't remember it. Hmm. I'd like to go back though. So let me know if you've been to Germany as well and where you've been. All right, should we start playing our game? I'm yeah. looking forward to answering some questions. Um, we've got some vegan bratwurst to try. Um, these are upside down. I placed an order with the Vegan Kind supermarket this week for Holly. The brand is Tofurky, plant-based sausage, and they're called Beer Brats. So these are vegan bratwurst. I'll link them up below. I'll link them up where we bought them. Um, she's had quite a nice little selection of kind of like ve vegan meatiness this week. She's had salami, she's had ham, um, we've had mozzarella, and I ordered some like chorizo to try. Um, so I'll link it all up below for you. One of the things that we love with our bratwurst is curry ketchup. In Germany, we'd have um, currywurst, which is, it would be a sliced bratwurst covered in curry ketchup. It is so delicious. One of my main memories from being a teenager is going to the outdoor swimming pool and getting currywurst and fries. So good with a dollop of uh, mayo. All it is is ketchup and curry powder. We love this, don't we? Can I put those on? Yeah, go on ahead. That. Take the Sorry. vegan bratwurst. No, you're fine. So I'm gonna do a big dollop of ketchup, bit of curry powder, mix it in, do it to taste. It might be that you want more curry powder than me or less. So just keep trying until you're happy with the combination. So I've got rather a lot of ketchup. We'll all be sharing this. And I am going to mix, it's about probably a teaspoon of curry sauce into that. It's just so quick and easy. Love dipping my fries in this. I'm just gonna mix in a little bit more. I think we're already giving up on the game a little bit. We're trying to get dinner done. Um, so we're just gonna answer some questions. Do you ever shorten games? Um, when you don't wanna play the full games, you kind of do your own version. Right, these are difficult questions. You've got to look at the pictures on the front. Disney. No. Which one of these characters works as a rescue ranger? Chip. Yes, Chip. Which two of these characters often feud with one another? I wouldn't have known this one. I'll show you the card actually, so you can see. Don't look at the answer. I would. Aid. Oh, I would immediately think Daisy and Donald, Mickey and Donald. No. Mickey and Daisy. Mm mm. Do you want me to tell you? Chip and Donald. Yes, Chip and Donald, it says, often feud with one another. Oh, didn't know that. That's right. better. You ready? You're going to guess this one. Mickey Mouse. No. Which one of these characters is known for losing, let's see, I'll show the card here, for losing their temper? Which one's Donald. known for losing its temper? Yes, Donald. Well done. God, then you ask me the other ones. And it also says on here, 
uh, which player do I think has the personality most like Donald Duck? Definitely you, because you're always in a mood. And why am I in a mood? Because you're grumpy. Because of you. Right, go on. No, not because of you. It's because you're grumpy. Right. Which one of these images from the It's a Small World Love attraction a small world. is based on a movie that takes place in Hawaii? Should we share the card? Lilo and Stitch. I love It's a Small World in California. Have yep. you seen It's a Small World in California? They have a load of the characters on the ride. It's so oh, do, cute. Yeah. Leo, this is what, can I show the card? Yeah, I did just show it. I know, you can see some of the characters yeah, it's there. It's important putting your hand, because you have the card's bigger oh, than your hand. Oh, sorry. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so it's in focus there. But it just... I'm going to get insert a clip, thank you. That's really funny. I'm going to insert it's better. focusing on faces and I'm just trying to get it to focus. Oh. It doesn't seem to be working. I'm going to insert a clip of It's a Small World in California and have a look and see how many characters you can spot. That's so sweet. We've just seen Ariel and now we're seeing Lilo. We've got Toy Story here as well. Do you like this one? <laughs> Which two of these images from the It's a Small World attraction are based on animated features made under Walt Disney's supervision? I'm going to go with Alice in Wonderland okay. and Cinderella. Correct. Yeah. Which three of the, these images from the It's a Small World registered trademark attraction are based on characters from literature? Alice in Wonderland, Cinderella, and Aladdin. Yeah, Jasmine and Aladdin. Yeah. Which one of these images from the It's a Small World attraction features characters from a movie released after the year 2000? Lilo and Stitch. Okay, and which one of these images from the It's a Small World attraction would I most like to have in my room? Oh, that's a bit rude. No room. You're in your room? Yeah, like. Focus, ask better. Alice, Yasmin, or Cinderella? I was asking. I was wondering. No, it's you. It's your question. Oh, which one would I want? Yeah. As in, as a toy? Or... Oh, yeah. I, I love, so. love Lilo and Stitch. As a character? Yeah, Stitch. I'm going to choose there Stitch. Yeah, I do love Stitch. He's so sweet. I'm going to check sausages. I did really well. I got all of those right. Yeah, well done. Right. Here's the next one. I'll show you the card. There's the card for you. Which one of these characters is a warrior? B. Yes, Mulan. I was going to say, is that Mulan? Which two of these characters receive loud cheers from a crowd of people? D. And A. No. Oh. You're close. D and... B. Mulan, yes. Yeah. Cinderella and Mulan. Which one of these characters gets stuck in a tree? Is it A? Yes, Rue. And match my answer, which one of these characters would you most like to have as your teacher? Rue, Mr. Ray from Finding Dory, Mulan or Cinderella? Which one would you like to have your, as your teacher? Mr. Ray. Yeah, I think that's a yeah. good one as well. I quite like playing it this way, just yeah, answering the well, questions. Yeah. They look so good. So are you team Lisa, Aid, and Louie? Or are you team Holly? Holly always has that side of the Barbie, doesn't she? Mm. Little Holly sausage. We've got bratwurst, fries, and a curry ketchup. Go on then, oh, tuck in. That dinner was so good. Really do try the curry ketchup, it's so delicious. I'm now moving on with the pretzels. I'm boiling up nine cups of water with half a cup of bicarb or soda, baking soda in the States. The thing that makes these pretzel rolls rather than normal bread rolls, you dunk them in this boiling mixture for 20 to 30 seconds before baking them. And that's what gives them that pretzel-y texture. The dough has risen beautifully. It looks really, really nice. I'm going to take this out and we need to 
split it up and roll it into lengths like little sausages. So I've done a couple traditional pretzel shape. They could be a little bit tidier. And I'm gonna attempt some Mickey ones. We'll see how they go. I've never done Mickey shaped pretzels before. So I've got to put the pretzels into the water with the bicarb of soda for 20 to 30 seconds. I should have maybe recorded this, um, timed it. Well, I can time it. It says any long, don't do them any longer because they taste metallic. First ones have been about 10 seconds now. Okay. Oh, they're starting to rise actually. Yeah, I think they're done. It's about 20 now. Just a bit short, 20. You never want to be ready by the time you take it out. Do the next one. Now my thought is about carefully joining them together like that and baking them that way. I don't know, they're not perfect, but for a first attempt, what mm. do you think? Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. Again in the oven. I'm going to put them in the oven like that. If you were doing salty ones, you would now add the salt. I'm going to do some sticks like in Auntie Anne's and they go in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. I haven't actually been rolling it out. I've actually been dividing it up with a pizza cutter so it's um, quite even each time and then rolling these out into sausages to create the, set, uh, the shapes. And they definitely start to float to the top when they're ready to come out after about 10, sort of 10, 15, 20 seconds. Right, first up, I forgot to put the timer on the oven. I think they're done. This one looks a little bit underdone. Second, it did say if you're using baking paper to spray with oil and I didn't. And I think they may have stuck a little bit, so I'm gonna have to have a little play. I've melted the vegan butter, and I've mixed together some sugar and cinnamon. There's our first pretzel, it's very hot. So let's dip it in the butter, both sides. Yeah, do go careful, it's very hot. And dip it in the cinnamon sugar. Who wants to try my cinnamon pretzel? Come on down. Make sure it's nicely coated and there we have it my auntie Annie's pretzels that looks really good doesn't it I've chopped them up into the little portions like you do in auntie Anne's <laughs> right it's very sunny you're gonna try one let's yeah, see what they're like oh they're really hot still mmm mmm it really tastes like it mmm really oh hot it's really hot mmm they taste just like the ones you buy from Auntie Anne's. Mm. Just much, much cheaper. Mm. That's so good. We have managed a couple of successful Mickey ones. They look really cute. And I've done these last ones on the baking sheet and they lift straight off. So definitely use your baking sheets. And if you're using greaseproof paper, grease them first. Those pretzels were a huge hit. They actually really tasted. Nice. Do you say is it Auntie Anne's or Auntie Annie's? Is it Auntie Annie's in the States mm. and Auntie Anne's here, or know. the other way round? Let us know which way it is. I can't remember. And let us know if you've had Auntie Anne's pretzels. They tasted just like them, mm. and they were completely vegan as well because I used the vegan butter. Really, Coke really good. Mm. <laughs> and then dip them in the cinnamon sugar. Mm. I've made some sticks to take on our walk tomorrow. <laughs> really healthy walk. They were really good. We were just talking about showcase in World Showcase in Epcot. Which is your favourite country? What's yours, Aid? What would you choose to spend an evening in? An evening? Yeah. Well, do you what do you what? like? Eating, shopping? Well, evening-wise, yeah. I can't really think we've eaten there in the evening. I don't know. We've, well, we've had food. Right. Lots of food. But we've had it. Breakfast, I suppose, is the most popular we've had. We love France for I breakfast. I love France for breakfast. I like Japan for shopping. Japan, I love. And this isn't Just wandering your, around the shops. This isn't answering your question, but I love the ice thingies at Japan. <laughs> they're nice. I can't think what they're called. Um, you they're, know, the ice... ice cones, aren't they? Yeah, the ice cones. they are they're a like bit that. like that. The watermelon one, I think it's watermelon yeah. or... Breakfast, I like the food in Japan wise, as well, actually. actually Maybe Especially. Japan, because I love the shopping and I love the food. The Chinese I do like. Mm, the quick serve. That's nice, the quick serve. We like the quick serve in Japan as well, mm. don't we? 
I do love Mexico though. Yep. The food always smells of quick serve in Morocco is on my list. I still haven't done that. So I'd like to do that. Let us know what your favourites are. Hmm. and where you like going the most and anything you want us or you you recommend us to put on our list for next time next time I reckon fish and chips <laughs> harry ramstons yeah. right we are talking about what we're going to do in our next disney friday next week we will be in hollywood studios we've got extra extra magic hours i think we get there just after six in the morning hmm. um so that's next week's video and we obviously want to film another Disney Friday for you. Let us know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see. Let us know we'll if you've got think, any questions. We? I've got a few baking ideas that I fancy trying. And I've got some craft things as well that I want to give a go. But anything else, let us know. Leave your comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this Something video. Something I'd like to try. What's that? And is it from 50s Pro where, where do they do the milkshakes? Yes, 50s um, Prime. I would like to try and do those. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Or one of them, or whatever. You can try that. I don't mm. like milkshake, but you can have yeah. one. Maybe you can make one that I would like and yeah. convert me. Give it a try, yeah. yeah. Have a lovely weekend. Mm. Thank you for watching our video. Please comment below, say hello, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Mm. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.